Hello everyone, welcome to lecture number 12. In this lecture, I'm going to take a question of KVPY, which was asked in the year 2015. Now the question is, we have to define a function which is from R to R. Now the function is given in the form of maximum of this following functions. So those, this following functions are mod of x, mod of x minus 1. Similarly, till mod of x minus 2n, where n is a fixed natural number. Now the question is, once we find the function, we have to find the integration of f of x from 0 to 2n with respect to x. So let's start. Now before integrating f of x, the first thing which I'm going to do here is I'm going to define the function from r because the function is defined on minus infinity to infinity. And one more thing I'm going to do after that, that is I'm going to define the maximum of this several functions. Now all this function, if I draw, it will be very hectic. So let's do one thing. Let's say n is equal to 1. Since they are saying n is a natural number, so I can take any example. The moment I take n is equal to 1, I will be having a limited function. Now once I get limited function that is mod of x, mod of x minus 1 and mod of x minus 2, I am going to draw these three graphs and I am going to show you how to calculate maximum. Once I get the maximum, I will tell you the logic, how it is going to work for mod of x minus 2n. So let's start with the x and y axis. Now mod of x is obviously going to pass through 0, 0. So as you can see, it passes through 0, 0. And this is our function mod of x. Similarly, next function is mod of x minus 1. Yo, clearly visible. Now, the next function is mod of x minus 2. And this will pass through 2 comma 0 here. As you can see, it passes through 2 comma 0. And this function is mod of x minus 2. And similarly, the red one is mod of x here. Now, the logic which you are trying to understand here is, first of all, I am going to draw the maximum here. So, the maximum, how are you going to trace out? Whatever the graphs are given or functions are given here, you need to draw the graphs of all these functions. Once you get the graph of all these functions here, you are going to trace out the maximum. Because that way you don't have to check for the individual values here. So you can easily trace out this maximums. Okay. And one more logic which is very important here is if I am taking from 0 to 2, you have to trace out the midpoint. Before the midpoint, okay, the last function that is mod of x minus 2 will be the maximum and after the midpoint mod of x will be the maximum and it's visible here as you can see. Now once I do that I can generalize for all these functions okay till mod of x minus 2n. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this line which I've traced okay, and then I'm going to draw all the functions here. So if I draw all the lines here or the function sorry till mod of x minus 2n, it will look like this. So till it goes till the midpoint, n comma 0, and the next one will be a mod of x minus 2n, which is going to pass through 2n comma 0, as you can see here. Now, as I told you, before the midpoint, if you trace out the midpoint here, somewhere here, okay, before the midpoint, whose will be the maximum? This function will be the maximum here. This function will be the maximum before the midpoint. Okay, this function is mod of x minus 2n. That is the logic we have developed using the three graphs. And after the midpoint, that is n comma 0, somewhere, this function will be maximum here. As it, this is not the actual graph, the so mod of x will be the maximum. Now, once I have defined the function, now I can integrate from any value what they have given. Okay. Now, before integrating here, I am going to define the function. So, function is defined into two categories here. So, first is when x is less than n. When x is less than n, n is the midpoint as I told you, if it goes till 2n. So when x is less than n, the function will be, as you can see, mod of x minus 2n. And when x is greater than or equal to n here, the function will be mod of x, as I told you previous slide, the logic here. Now I'm going to integrate this function. Now I know in which interval I have to break. So I will be equal to integration 0 to first I'm going to break till n and in n I'm going to write this as 2n minus x because mod of x minus 2n will open as 2n minus x because this value is greater because here x is varying from 0 to n. Now next integration will be integration from n to 2n then since x is from n to 2n I'm going to write mod of x as x only here d of x. Now I can easily integrate this. Now if I integrate here this, I'll get this as 2n x minus x square divided by 2 and the lower limit will be 0 and upper limit will be n. Similarly, for the next integration, I have x square divided by 2 
lower limit is n upper limit is 2n now let's integrate this so we have here if you put n here we'll get this as 2n square minus n square divided by 2 plus i think if you put 0 here everything will be 0 here now plus i'll get this as if i put 2n here if you take 1 by 2 outside if you put 2n here you'll get 4n square and when you put n here you'll get n square here now if we simplify further we'll get this as 2n square minus n square by 2 is 3n square divided by 2 and from here i'll get this as 3n square divided by 2 so if we add these two values i'll get this as 3n square and i think that will be our final answer and that'll be all